was Friends Don't Let Friends Win by Hella, off of their 2007 album There's No 666 in Outer Space, um, which is maybe true. I guess there's no numbers technically in outer space except for the human-made ones that exist out there, Hella. I like Hella. They're a pretty great band. I haven't listened to this album, though, um, and I just now noticed that Hella is the middle part of the word shellac. It's totally accidental. We're listening to that today because we have a shellac song from 2007 up in competition today. In fact, both our shellac songs are from 2007. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day two of the shellac tournament today, and that is match two in round one. If you're new here and you're wondering what a shellac tournament is, let me explain. We took every single song that the math rock, uh, post-rock band shellac released, and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until one remains in the end, and that's the very best song that Shellac has released. I said post-rock, but I meant post-punk, but I guess it is kind of post-rock too, but without the electronic elements. Uh, in some portions of it anyway. It's a lot of stuff at the same time. Um, today we're going to be starting off with Paco, which was released on Excellent Italian Greyhound in 2007. This one's an instrumental, and there aren't any notes on Genius.com, of course, just being that it is an instrumental. But it looks like they may have released a music video for it. Either that or it's a fan-made video showing on the bottom of Genius.com's article on it. It's competition a day is Be Prepared from that same album. This one does have lyrics, but I don't have any special notes on Genius.com. This is something we're both This is something where we're just gonna have to listen to them both and see which one sounds better. Typically, uh, I'm not a huge fan of choosing instrumentals to go through into future rounds. But that's mostly because I. But that's usually the case for bands that are uh, typically fully lyricized as well. Is lyricized a word? I, if a band does a really great singing, I want to hear it do lyrics as well. Although I wouldn't say that I listen to Shellac for the singing at all. Not that I don't enjoy the lyrics and vocals when they're there, just that uh, Shellac is not really about that. There's a lot of instrumental stuff, and it's just as good. Let's check out Paco.
I like that short uh, reprise back to the beginning of the song in there. Essentially, I think there were like three or four parts to that song. Um, and it just kind of got bigger and louder as it went along. It's a really cool piece. Let's check out Be Prepared. So good. Uh, I like that one a lot better. The lyrics actually help a lot there. Uh, Be Prepared is my winner for the day. I really like the guitar in there, that part that kept going on, um, the stunted drums near the middle. Just really cool lyrics overall. Um, kind of reminiscent of some stuff I'd hear from Big Black, just the, the callback and shouting lyrics, you know. Like, um, I like it. <laughs> Maybe not as unhinged as Big Black gets, but, you know. That's what Big Black is for. 
and you want that unhinged industrial Steve Alpini. Like this video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. That's all the shellac tournament action we've got going for the day. But please join me tomorrow when we get down with our birds and shellac tournament action once again. Until then, I hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.